Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today I'll be evaluating express accounts for the Fit Small Business Case Study Chapter 4, which deals with banking and cash management. Uh, so let's get started. Um, one of the first questions we need to address is whether we can directly uh, connect the bank account to the software so that every day the transactions automatically flow into the software. And we cannot do that, which is not surprising being this is a desktop software. So that's something that's very common in cloud software, but not in desk software. Um, although QuickBooks Desktop does have that. The next question is, well, if we can't have an automatic connection, can we at least bring the transactions over electronically? So download them from the bank and then upload them to the software. And we can do that. But like many things with this program, it's powerful, but it, things aren't where you expect them to be. So rather than being somewhere in the banking center, right? So here we have banking. It has basically all it has is reconcile. Um, it doesn't have much. Uh, so in order to, uh, re to import our transactions, we have to go here under the accounts tab and then import transactions. So we can select our CSV or OFX file. I have a CSV, a CSV file on my computer here that I've used for multiple software. So I'm going to select it. Um, here we go, sample bank transactions. OK, and so we hit OK, and that's going to bring us up a nice wizard. So these are the fields that the program is looking for. We need to assign it to the headers in the CSV file. So what they call date, my CSV file calls process date. What they call memo, my CSV file called description. Amount is amount. And then deposit, we're going to, in our screen, is called an, the income account and the payment is the expense account. Okay, so here we've mapped our CSV file into the transaction fields and we can hit import. Okay, so it says 11 successful imports but we're not quite done yet. We need to tell it which file to uh, record it to and which, which account to record it to. So these are not cash on hand, these are our checking transactions okay and so we could click import and it will bring over the checking transactions now we'll have to go in and manually assign them um, so we don't want to do that right now and and these don't really these are just random numbers from something else so I'm not going to import them I'm going to hit cancel but that is how you can import your transactions we'll see there's another place you can import transactions as well that might be better okay um, so now we want to do our reconciliation so I'm going to go to here to reconcile accounts. So we're under our banking tab. So I'm going to go reconcile. And we want to reconcile our checking account. Now we're a brand new company, so it's never been reconciled before. Um, let's put our bank statement date. We'll just keep it as the second because that's when we recorded all of these uh, transactions. Now our new statement balance. So let's pretend I'm looking at a bank statement here. And I'm going to say our new balance is 11000 $240. So that shows us that we are out of balance by 1240. So we're going to take our bank statement, we're going to take our uh, these items that are showing up in our books, and we're going to match them from the bank statement or from here to the bank statement. So I go, okay, yes, that $150 payment is showing up. That's showing up, and I'm just tracing all of these items to my bank statement to make sure they agree. Okay, now this last payment of $31.50, I'm going to say, no, that hasn't cleared the bank yet. So we wrote a check, if you watched the prior chapter, we wrote a check to the state of New York for sales tax. I'm going to say that has not cleared the bank yet. Okay, um, so we're $73 off. I may have miscalculated my bank statement. <laughs> Um, we are supposed to be $10 off. So 
I'm sorry, that's that's just my fault. I miscalculated the bank statement, and so our statement balance should be 11,323. Now we're out of balance by 10. So again, nothing to do with the program. I miscalculated what the statement balance should be. Okay, so we're off by $10. Um, and that's showing this 3150 outstanding, so that's great. So I look at my statement, and what happened is we have a service fee of $10 that we forgot to record. So it's very nice if you can record a transaction uh, that you're missing without have, having to actually leave the screen. And they do have a button here for add a new payment transaction. We're going to pay this to our bank out of our checking account. We'll call it other, so it's coming out of our checking. It's an other, it's ten dollars. Okay, and this is going to be the bank. Uh, let's find just an expense account here. Create a new account. Um, standard accounts we can choose from. Well, I don't know. It, it doesn't really matter. Let's just stick the bank service fee to office expenses. Now office expense should show up here. Okay, there we go. And hit record. And that should now show up here somewhere. Oh, there it is. And it's already selected. And so now, looks like I still messed up our, looks like I went the wrong direction. Okay, so if I, so this should be, sorry, again, nothing to do with the program. This is me just messing up the statement balance. And so now we're in balance with a $31.50 check outstanding. Okay. Excellent. Now I want to see what happens when we reconcile it. So everything's set here. Oh, before we do that, let's look at the screen. If you wanted help with your reconciliation, you could load a bank statement and that'll bring in the transactions and then you can easily compare those transactions to what's in the bank statement to, or what's in the books up here. Okay, so let's reconcile. Hopefully this gives us a nice reconciliation report. Would you like to review the report? Yes. Okay, so this shows us everything that cleared. And does it show us? Okay, it doesn't show us the outstanding item. I don't like that because I like you have to really keep track of your outstanding items because if a check is outstanding for six months, you need to investigate what happened. Did they lose the check or is it an accounting error? So this reconciliation report, uh, it shows that you reconciled it. It shows what cleared. It shows the transactions in your book that also cleared the bank. That's good, but it doesn't show your reconciling items, and I don't like that. Okay, so, but all in all, that's actually a really good reconciliation tool uh, for free software. This reconciliation is something that a lot of software have really fallen, sh fallen short on lately. I think it's because a lot of small businesses now, freelancers don't even write checks. Everything is done electronically uh, through the bank and so then there really isn't any need to reconcile because they don't record any expenses or income till it actually runs through the bank. If you're actually writing checks you need a good reconciliation program which this uh, Express Accounts does have a good reconciliation program for a free software. Okay so let's score uh, and see, let's score this uh, Express Accounts. Um, so can software connect to the bank account? It can't, but you can upload a file of transactions. Um, it has a very nice bank reconciliation feature where you can enter the checking account. You can't enter a monthly service fee. You have to actually, so um, sometimes in, say, QuickBooks, you open up the bank reconciliation screen, you can actually input right there your service charge. Here we had to go in and create a new transaction not a big deal um, you can view your outstanding transactions okay so you in the in the reconciliation screen you can view your outstanding transactions but you're not able to on the report okay 
Very good. And so do credit cards have these same features is the last question we have on the banking features. So um, we can reconcile credit cards, um, but I do not believe that we can uh, transfer transactions over from the credit cards. Um, actually, you know what? That's probably not true. So let's let's open a reconciliation. Can we choose our credit card? Okay. And here we can still load a bank statement for our credit card. So we should be able to bring over transactions through here. So very good. So I would say credit cards have these same features. Okay. Very good. So that is the banking features of Express Accounts by NC8 Software. I'm Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business, and this was uh, the evaluation for our Chapter 4 of the Fit Small Business case study.